Romeo, Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? In her pants. <laughs> <laughs>
yes. big, huge dance numbers. And, and let me tell you something. When Tata started it in, right? Yes. And he came in, which we knew would be his entrance. Oh, oh amazing. Uh, my so my thought was, first of all, what a freaking entrance. And second of all, because we've gotten to know him, we were watching the film and I was like, this movie is just, he didn't have to do a thing. Mm. Ranveer was being <laughs> like, Ranveer. Hey, here we and go. if we had seen this before Gully Boy, we wouldn't have only talked about Ali Abad. No. Because we would have recognized the stretch because it was, yeah. this, this was this was Ranveer. This yeah. is who the guy is yeah. all the time. This is how where he became not this specific film, but this is the type of character he became famous for, similar to like Heath, it's, Heath Ledger. Right, because it's yeah. him. Yeah, it's he's this is pretty, he's, he's a clearly oh, beautiful very man. Pretty man. <laughs> and knows it. Yes. Is well That's aware. The other thing. Of course he, he knows it. Yeah. Uh, but he's a beautiful man him. and he you know, the characters weren't as deep as he they were in like Badmavat or no. Zdrami mm -hmm. or Gully Boy or whatever. But that he would swear you gotta start. Right. And so yeah. it's similar like Heath Ledger, like he had to play those roles until he can get into his and he, and it's not saying this is not a meaty role. This actually had some really good really good Dynamics, moments in yeah. it. Um, but this is that it was that style, very just very different. We went had a very interesting Ride with Ranveer. I, <laughs> I agree. Him <laughs> and Topeka. Yes. Interestingly. And I just love them so much. Oh, they, yeah. yeah. We can talk oh about their acting gosh. now. Their chemistry is oh, clearly my the freaking roof. <laughs> In fuego, I think is what it's called. Like, yeah. they are attracted to each other. Man, they are gonna make S gorgeous, gorgeous children. children. That's, that's you say literally that? what I said. That's what she said. So the, like and their children. We're watching. So it's during the holy thing, and they're putting the colors on each other. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at them, going, you know. It would help if they weren't so hard to look at. <laughs> and just to have to watch them for this next two hours is oh. such a labor. Oh my goodness. And we've seen it on small screen. I want to see, I want to see a Sanjay P. I'd love to see this again on a big screen. Oh, yeah. To mm -hmm. get everything I'm supposed to get yeah. from his visuals and the beauty of these two people. Oh. They, they're, just like, they're just like, what? They're just, they were, they were created for film. Uh -huh. Yep. But and and, and each other. Yeah, yeah. Each other. their child is gonna have the hair of a god. <laughs> <laughs> like both of them have I know. magnificent their hair. Their hair is fabulous. Oh my word, I want their and hair. Their skin is so soft <laughs> and like, beautiful. Yeah, I love how she commented like you don't have any hair on your chest. I know. <laughs> the script, by the way. Okay, so it let's was let's so fun. let's talk about. I love. There's a lot I loved about the script, both in the dialogue itself, but yeah. also what Sanjay did to Romeo and Juliet. So can mm -hmm. we talk about those things? Yes, yes, go for it. Okay, first of all, the playfulness, and I bet we would have picked up on more if we knew the Hindi. It would have been even more intelligent and more uh, playful and fun, mm -hmm. and, and even more Shakespearean, because that's what Shakespeare is known for: is using His double quick, entendre yes. and puns and quicks. He did and, a lot of it. Uh, yeah. He did a lot of it. So much. Really I well it. written really felt like it was just off the top of their head. Mm -hmm. I also loved the fact that he did a couple of things with the story. He didn't need to make it, it's a tragedy, but he didn't need to make it feel that way. Yeah. Even in the end, he didn't make it feel like Shakespeare's tragedy. He reinvented it, mm -hmm. really. He did. West Side Story took it and contemporized it. Mm -hmm. yep. He contemporized it and added another level to it where it was still a tragedy, but it was a tragedy that it's was a actually kind of a different kind of tragedy. Yeah, my, my only gripe with the film, because I really enjoyed the film. Like, I could watch this over and over. Over and yeah. over. It's one of those films that you could just put on. Yeah, that's why I love it. The only issue I had, and it's, I don't know if it's an issue, it's just at like some points it feel like the stakes seemed high, but they didn't feel incredibly high at some points. I see what you're saying. See, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I, yeah. Like, like, you knew the stakes were high, but it didn't feel that way all the time. Which yeah. was a really, and I agree with you. And that's I, the only I, issue I, I, I had with the film. I w I'd love to know, I'd love to know if Sanjay had to grapple with that in terms of the actual creation of the film because mm -hmm. he had to go one way or the other. I don't know that he could have done both. Mm -hmm. And I think his attempt to begin it with the violence between the two sides was his way of kind of giving you a, a smack in the head to say the stakes are high. Mm -hmm. And he... He had to focus more on Them. their love yeah. story. Mm -hmm. That's what I figured what, what was happening. Yeah, of course. Uh, because he did. He he really. Uh, and maybe it comes. He from, weakened that part of Shakespeare's story. Maybe it yep. comes from watching um, Vishal's Shakespeare adaptions, and yeah. obviously, like I said, these are very different people and directors. Uh, he's well, like you said, the the composers, the 
One's the... Uh, well, yeah, it, Sanjay's Mozart and yeah. Vishal is Beethoven. Yeah, and so maybe it comes from that, but that's the only... And it wasn't all the time. It definitely got even better towards the end, and he oh, felt it sure. towards the yeah. end. But like at the beginning, it felt almost like a more playful, like, Hey, we're going to attack you! No, we're going to attack you! We're all going to shoot gonna... each other! Uh, and so, <laughs> also, bullets come down. It was that's like... what I was saying! <laughs> she oh said gosh. that exactly. They were all shooting at the air, and I looked at him, and I was like, uh, they do realize those have to come back down. They are all dead. Also, the, Every single one the really dumb game they played where they were like, shoot this, and they were surprised that somebody got shot and died. <laughs> yeah. And they obviously already were struggling with aim. So that was weird for me. I was yeah. like... What kind of a game is this? <laughs> well, You're entrusting your enemy to not shoot you? Right. This is stupid. But I do think that was part of the thing was he they they were good enough shots mm. that to miss would have obviously been intentional. Gotcha. I think. Yeah. I think. But he missed the last time. Yeah, I know. Like right before he shot that guy, uh, he literally I missed. I want to know I want to know what you liked or didn't like just as a whole. Like some of the first stand up things for you. I agree with Corbin that sometimes the stakes weren't as high mm -hmm. as that it it was you knew there was conflict and struggle but then at times you're like okay it's not that big of a deal right like it's fine guys just get over it <laughs> <laughs> can't we all get along <laughs> like let's just, just have a party I mean yeah let's just party let's right. not shoot each other as much <laughs> just try out these new things so that was for sure part of it I loved like we said all of the directing the chemistry of the two of them, so beautiful. And I just love Topeka and her emotional, just mm -hmm. available, like she's just available. She is always, she's incredible. At all times. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I know I say her it every eyes, here. Yes. But, yeah, but, but that the is. The emotion behind that's her what it eyes is. is the thing. Cause like her eyes are beautiful, but the emotion that she just radiates from her eyes mm -hmm. are, it's just amazing that she'll, you can see her thinking mm -hmm. and all of the things that she's feeling because of her eyes. Yes. And she'll be saying one thing but meaning another thing and they get glazed over with these tears and it just makes mm -hmm. me want to curl up in a ball and cry with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, we can go back on the acting for a little bit, but like I love them obviously and I loved getting, I felt like right when they both came on screen, especially Renvier, I was like, oh, we're watching Renvier film again. Yes. <laughs> right. I, know. I just, Renvier. I love too. him so much. Me too. too. He's like my, one of my favorite actors. Yep. He has such Charisma and energy on screen that he brings, and it's just fun Beautiful. to watch him. And yes, he likes to her too. Yes. I have become yes. I have become very very big fans of those two actors. Oh yeah, in, in a big, big and I'm way. excited. They're very excited okay. for their next film, which Ooh. is the the cricket one. Yeah, they're playing the husband and wife. Oh, I didn't realize Topeka yeah. was in that with him. Yes. Oh yay! Ah. Yeah. She's yay. playing. Uh, I love the, it. I believe the cricketer's wife. But yeah, they um, the very like I love watching them. I was very excited to watch the, his film again. But yes, we can talk about. Her now. Her. Okay, don't know where it went. But that her one. name is, say it again for me, please. Supriya. Pathak. Pathak. She was brilliant. I watched this with my wife, uh, and that was the first thing she said. Who? She was like, who's that actress? Who's that? She's, she's like, she, obviously, so Renvier and Topeka, but like, she was really who stood out for her, and I, I agree with her. She 100 percent phenomenal. Apparently, she's she carries in, so much weight of this. She's in Wake Up Sid. Uh, which is with, I believe, uh, Ren Beer. Okay. Uh, and then... Uh, yeah, I will say... Stuff. She's been around for a while, though. I know there were a lot of other supporting people, and we'll probably have the quintessential moment where someone will say, you didn't even talk about fill-in-the-blank. It's every review. Because it happens every Sorry. review. I can tell you that the three people that I remembered and only mattered to me when this was done... Mm-hmm. Was Ranveer, Ranveer Dabika, Dabika, and Supriya. Everybody else was good, but they were fine. They didn't stand out, you know. All they were was there to support those, those three, three those telling three the story. Yeah, hundred percent. Yep. Uh, totally, and totally she creepy. was just—it's great casting because so incredible. Good. she has incredible eyes, just like Topeka. So yes, it was very good and the casting. eyeliner underneath made her so intense. Oh yeah, she is really, really good. Yep. Uh, reminded me of the weight of um, what's what's her face, Rick. Um, do you remember Come on. in the Don't office, you know? uh, the Saber? She owns Saber. Oh yes, what, and she was in um, 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 uh, Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates, thank yes. you. Reminds me of the, like the weight of Kathy Bates. Very, very good comparison. Uh, like she's like. Go Corbin. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry for not remembering your name. Great. Kathy Bates. <laughs> and, you know who she really did remind me of many times, mm -hmm. and this is as high a compliment as the woman could be given. And it isn't just because she was playing a mafia guy. Yep. She had some Brando kind of yeah, moments. Yes, she did. Just, and it just, was probably unintentional. I mean, yeah. you can't really make a gangster film without... 
No, but even it was a little bit of that. Yeah. I made that comparison with McBool, mm -hmm. uh, that there was very a very almost Vito Corleone impersonation yeah. bordering. She didn't go that no, far. No, 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 no. Nope. There were just these little shimmers and hints of more for me. Uh, this actor's process. Um, mm -hmm. I, I felt that I felt that she was very much morphing, like being a shapeshifter. Yeah. My suspicion is maybe she's done a lot of other different roles, and that this was just a role. I f I felt like when they said cut, maybe she didn't change character. Mm. I guess I felt like this woman was just that yeah. heavy yeah. of a she of an is, actor. She is. She's so good. I would so love to good. see her so more good. stuff. Uh, she might be like the same thing, like when uh, we got introduced to VJ Roz and like yeah. his weight and his his presence is is all there. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, did you? What do you think of the end? That's what I was gonna say. I have. I'd like to know your opinion. I have a thought about the end, and it's tied to the re envisioning that Sanjay gave to the story. So mm -hmm. I'll I'll say that. What did, What did you think? I liked the ending. Mm -hmm. I'm. I like tragedies, but at the same time, I don't like them because I'm someone who loves happy endings, and I just. I just want it to be happy. The I want them to ride off into the sunset. Far from the tree. I almost got really so. mad because I thought they were gonna let him live. That would have gotten me mad. <laughs> like, like I was watching and I was like, and they start knocking on right. the door. Do they like, live? You are not gonna make them live. Yeah, that, <laughs> that would have bothered me because that would have been a total change of Shakespeare's intention, which is to me, it, you shouldn't go that far with that story. Yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna do an, if you're gonna if do you're an doing adaptation, it, you cannot do that. Don't go part. that far. Well, I mean, we all did with uh, uh, yeah, to a, to a certain extent, but for me, I mean, the whole reason Romeo and Juliet is the story it is is, is because, because they this don't make it. Tragic yeah. love story. Yeah. Right. Beautiful, so, but it's horrible all the time. But it's a very different, it's not a tragic It's very story. different. Uh, but we, what did you think? <laughs> About the end? Yeah. Oh, I enjoyed it. Uh, and I think this is a different adaption of William Shakespeare because 100. the original yeah. adaption, I don't actually think is that big of a love story. I don't. Right. Oh, you're yeah. getting into my favorite uh -huh. thing about this movie. I don't, I don't, because in the originals, obviously they were like teenagers, right? They were really young, right? Yeah, yeah I think. Yeah, younger than The way this. it's depicted, they're probably, she's probably 14, he's probably 16. Yeah. And so I don't see, like, when I think of Romeo and Juliet, I don't see it as a love story. I, you like, see it as hormonal and teenagers. And in fact, hormonal teenagers at <laughs> once, and he even says it. Yeah. <laughs> like, which makes me, make, I think it's quite funny, because I talked to, what's her name? She was, I was like, would you like to talk to William Shakespeare about your views on Romeo and Juliet? Because she thinks he was just a horny boy, and the only tragic thing was that she fell in love with him. Right. Uh, right. And he didn't actually fall in love with her. Yeah. Uh, they, they went a little different here. Obviously, Ranveer, I feel like, <clears throat> I think it was hard for him to show his love. Not, to not show his passion for Topeka. Yeah. So it was kind of more obvious that he really loved her. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, uh, <laughs> that, that is that the original Romeo and Juliet, I don't know. This yes, is my I favorite agree. thing about Ram Leela. Aside from the visual aesthetic and what we've said so far about the acting, but going straight to the core of the film and movie being storytelling and being an adaptation of Shakespeare. I, this is actually something I, that I think he improves upon Shakespeare's yep. mm. story I agree. in that he made the two main characters mature adults mm -hmm. who don't just become infatuated with each other. They genuinely reach a place where they even recognize, yeah, there's probably some lust that's at play here, but ultimately I don't believe what I'm experiencing with you is lust. I think what I'm experiencing with you is what we've read about in poems and what we've seen in movies. I, I think I'm yeah. genuinely experiencing true love for the first time when he's drunk and he's talking about her mm -hmm. and he yes. calls out to God oh. and he says you made millions and millions but there's only one of her mm -hmm. and that for me was my favorite part of this is that it wasn't just some teen infatuation it, it was, was these deep. mature people mm -hmm. who actually seemed to have love at first sight mm -hmm. and they were able to grasp the concept of it where it wasn't yeah it wasn't just love and everything and it's that they actually thought about it and the fact that they both were then put in positions of leadership that's that they it. had to that was, figure that was a great out scene. that dynamic we love when she was love. being a hard ass yes uh -huh. and like taking on her mom's mantle and yes. he was just like yes and he was like almost like saying oh she was saying something and he was like and we'll never fire another shot and yes. he was crying and yes because for the, for oh the totality gosh. of Romeo and Juliet you have the Montagues and the Capulets and Romeo and Juliet's focus is only and always on, on we love each other and why can't you get along mm -hmm. exactly. the mature adults recognize it's we love each other but it's way more complicated than that even when they had that fight yes and they have the fight from their family sides and say well your side's always on that and your side's always on that and then they realize 
can we actually can we can our love actually survive this? Yeah. Yeah, I love that maturity he yes, gave to the story. And then also story. at the end, them being able to realize that their love is hurting their people. That it's not just yeah, that's, we're hurting each other. It's like, no, we have this level of responsibility where I've got my family and you've got your family and And yet I can't stop that I'm in love with you. Yeah. 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 Where just, it's, it's like great. we are oh so I, just, then, it's I great. thought the writing in that was really good. The act, yeah. Obviously the acting was top notch and yeah, I loved good. watching Renvier just cry while he was uh, uh, saying all that stuff to her. So I thought that was brilliant. There was one part that I didn't know how I felt about it, which was when, uh, what's her face that we love, um, Ba, when she um, kind of came around. Yeah. I don't know how I felt about that. I, I, I don't know if I liked it and I don't know if I hated it. Because um, I didn't know, I don't want I that with much a too. tie up in a bow, you know? Well, yes. you know what I you know um, what I like about it? Because I'm with you. I mean, she did a great job in that scene. Yeah, she oh, did yeah. a great job. <laughs> no. What I like about it is that Sanjay kind of threw us a curve. Yeah. And that was one of the contributing factors that made me worry they won't die. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? I really thought, is he going to turn this into a Disney ending? Because I love Disney endings, but not for Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. No. So uh, it, it actually, for me, in retrospect, because I didn't think about it during the time, it actually made the story more tragic for me. Mm -hmm. He was able to take their story and not make their story so tragic, but make the whole of it more tragic, tragic because... Because they could have. Here's what he did, and I would love to talk to him about this. The tragedy of Romeo and Juliet is the fact that if both of them had simply known what was really going on, they probably wouldn't have died. Mm -hmm. She wasn't really dead in the original Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. yeah. He can't live without her. He kills himself, and then she wakes up to find her true love, and he's dead, so she kills herself. Yeah. It's just that timing of the tragedy of if they'd only known. Yeah. He erased that from them and gave it to her. Yeah. And made her the one who said, this can be, they can be together, I've ordained it, we can unite the families, and they didn't know. And they go yeah. forward with, I like the way they and I that. love them killing each other. The, I, I know, that was Tragic, heartbreaking, horrible. awful, well, but I love that they did it. Yeah, uh, specifically with Ba, or what is, Supriya, I think I'm saying that right, if I'm not, correct me. But the thing that changed her, I love that it went, the thing that I really liked about it, and I did question it a bit at the beginning when I had first seen it, but that the thing that made her realize everything was a child and she's a mom mm -hmm. and it Great was a kid point. and it was like mm, for a point. moment she realized this is my baby girl yeah. like we need I need to remember that it is not just guns it's not just killing everybody it's not just wars and strife and all of this great observation I'm a mom this yeah. is my baby this is a baby who's getting to see what I'm doing yeah and how can I do this yeah as a mom yep yeah, so yeah, I loved it. Me too. Uh, I, I, would, I would definitely watch it. It's one of those movies that, like, as opposed to like, Header, which I love. Oh, and it's probably one of my nothing, favorite films. Nothing ever. comes close yeah, to Header, yeah. Uh, but like, I could probably watch this more. Absolutely. It's one of those kind of things. Like, it's way more palatable and it's way more enjoyable. Just the musical numbers, and of course, there's the musical number with Priyanka. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> well, how much do you think that's it, fair? It is that? really. <laughs> yeah, I would. Um, for people just becoming introduced to Indian cinema, I this I would put this early yeah. for them. Oh, yeah, for right, sure. more right up with Three Idiots, the way we were exposed to first Three Idiots and Gully Boy and PK and Dango, and then we, we started to get into some of the meatier stuff that was beautiful from Sanjay, like Padmavat, right? Mm -hmm. This would go in the forefront like that. Header mm -hmm. would either go toward the later Part. No, it depends on their love for Shakespeare. Yeah. Well, there's two things. It's love for Shakespeare, and it's also if you don't understand Kashmir and you don't understand some of the parts of the of life going on in India. Uh, then you're not gonna but be. the main thing I would do if I got a, a thespian. Yeah. I would take them straight to head or not. Yeah. I would do not pass. Go. I would make it their first Indian film. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's that good. Let's look at this one oh, first, yeah. then but, all oh, the fun. This yeah, one, I, I would watch this one. If this was on TV, oh, yeah, you could I would be easily. giddy as a little kid yeah. and go, oh, oh, get the popcorn. Yeah. It's, it's, it's time. Get the popcorn. Yeah. So that's what we should watch and review next. Uh, and uh, what do you think of the film? And we'll watch anything that has these two people in it. That's fact. <laughs>